There we have everybody, a beautiful rhinoceros cow heading towards the part of this forest that Jandra and I thought the lioness would come out of. Um, she's obviously not too worried about the lioness. We are now surrounded not only by that lovely black rhino, but by lots and lots of zebra. And we thought the lioness was going to pop out here. We've gone up and down this road three or four times, but I'm afraid she does not seem to be coming out of the forest. And to be frank, if I was in that forest, I'm not sure I'd choose to come out of it either. She's not showing us her best view, I don't feel. But she's very relaxed. And she walks straight past us, no problems at all. So often with black rhino, they'll lift their heads and have a little stomp towards you and show their general displeasure with life. But she was very calm as she's made her way to the next bush that she's going to browse. can see the wind starting to come up and of course that's good hunting conditions for the lions and I know many of you will be very excited to spend time with the black rhino I certainly am they really are very special especially as you know we we don't show them in South Africa and so and although they're actually much more common for example in the Sabi sand something silly like 20 or 24 or so rhino in the whole 370,000 acre Masai Mara. Oh that's great. Now we often see them just walking across the plains. There she is browsing and will leave a very distinctive 45 degree angled cut on all the branches that she takes and you can easily tell whether a rhino or an elephant has been browsing a tree by the very clean 45 degree angled cut that a rhino's teeth makes versus an elephant which is kind of if they put their teeth over a branch they just kind of chew it off and it looks like it's been kind of ground a bit Alrighty, we're going to carry on round. I think we're going to give up on this lioness, see if we can't pick up on the lions perhaps that we had last night while we